This video will review the anatomy of the trapezius muscle. There are three parts to the trapezius muscle, an upper, middle, and lower trapezius. We're going to start with the upper trapezius. The origin of the upper trapezius is the spinous process of C7, the ligamentum nuchae, which is the ligament that covers the spinous processes of all the cervical vertebrae, the occipital protuberance, and the nuchal line. The insertion of the upper trapezius will come down and insert on the clavicle. The actions of the upper trapezius include open chain actions of scapular elevation. So when the muscle contracts, the scapula will elevate. The closed chain action of the upper trapezius is ipsilateral side bending. So it's ipsilateral means same side, and we are mimicking the picture here. Ipsilateral side bend of the head and neck, and then contralateral rotation. Contralateral meaning opposite. So contralateral rotation means like that. Finally, it has a closed chain uh, action of a bilateral extension of the head and neck. So both sides working at the same time will help to extend the head and neck. The middle trapezius originates on the spinous process of thoracic vertebrae one to thoracic vertebrae six. So pretty much the upper half of the thoracic vertebrae. It will then come and insert on the acromion of the scapula and the spine of the scapula. This is the middle trapezius. The action of the middle trapezius includes scapular retraction, which is a medial slide and external rotation. So when the muscle contracts from this direction, it will retract the scapula with a medial slide and external rotation. Finally, we have the lower trapezius. The lower trapezius will originate on spinous processes of thoracic vertebrae 6 through thoracic vertebrae 12. So pretty much the lower half of the thoracic vertebrae. It will come up and insert on the triangle at the spine of the scapula. So remembering our scapular anatomy, this little triangle here is where the lower trapezius inserts. The lower trapezius has the action of scapular upward rotation and downward slide. So pulling from down here, the scapula will upwardly rotate and kind of complete like a downward slide. The trapezius has the same blood supply and innervation for the upper, middle, and lower trapezius. The blood supply is from the superficial branch of the transverse cervical artery and the acromial branch of the suprascapular artery. If you remember the axillary artery, we have the thyrocervical trunk, and first we have the suprascapular artery with its acromial branch, and then we have the transverse cervical artery with the superficial branch. Another blood supply that is not pictured here is the posterior branches of the posterior intercostal arteries. The innervation for the trapezius has two components, motor and sensory. The motor component is from cranial nerve 11, which is the accessory nerve. The sensory component is the ventral rami of C3 and C4. If we remember our spinal cord, we have our dorsal root and our ventral root that joins at the spinal nerve and then splits to the dors dorsal rami and the ventral rami. So at the levels of cervical vertebrae three and four, this ventral rami supplies innervation to the trapezius muscle.